Hi guys, welcome to LAB Color for Photoshop. This session I thought we'd have a look at boosting color uh, using LAB mode in Photoshop. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is create another layer. Go to Layers Palette, create another layer. Go to Image Mode. At the moment it's set to RGB. We're going to change the color mode, the color space to LAB Color. Actually, before we do this, let me cancel that. Let me open the histogram. Just make sure when you process your image, first stretch your image, uh, leave yourself enough room here. Um, because what you'll find is when you start boosting color in LAB, you're working with contrast, so that's going to move to the left. So if you haven't left enough room, you're going to end up clipping your data. So anyway, let's get back to LAB color. Image mode. Switch over to LAB color. Don't flatten the image. We want to control the opacity um, later. We might just switch the, the mode here to color because I want to influence the color channel. So at this point, let's hit Control and M and open up the curves palette. Um, you'll find three channels there lightness, which is your luminosity, is A and B. A controls your red and your greens, B, your blues and your yellows. So um, we're going to grab the top of this, left click and just drag across the top, the same on the bottom. Now just keep these even, what you find is once you've placed a control point you can use your arrow keys to shift it around so you can get more accurate. If you're happy with your color balance, um, keep these even, otherwise you'll start um, throwing your color balance out. So let's go to the B channel now and we'll do the same. As you, you can see the, the, the big yellow boost there and the blue boost. Just again keep these the same, otherwise you will start shifting your colour balance around. And just um, when you're happy with that, just press OK. As you can see, if we switch the layer on and off, it's quite a big colour boost. But use your opacity if it's too much, just reduce it with your opacity slider. Then we'll go back to image, we'll switch the color space back to RGB, again don't flatten the image until you, you're sure you're happy with with the color boost that you got. When you're happy with it, go ahead and flatten your image. Well that's it, LAB color for Photoshop, see you next time.